to see this new animated movie that everybody seems to be talking about. Everybody seems to be saying it's the best animated movie of the year, maybe ever? Of course, I'm talking about The Wild Robot, the brand new film from DreamWorks, which is about this robot who's voiced by Lupita Nyong'o, who washes up on this island. And when she's awakened, she has to try to find purpose. She has to try to find people to serve. And there are no people here. There's only animals. So she has to sort of assimilate herself within this island, and she's rejected. But along the way, she finds this bird, this bird that hatches and identifies her as being its mother. So you got a really amazing and beautiful story here about family, about motherhood, about love, and also about society. This movie is weirdly kind of empathetic towards society as a whole. I, I said when I was walking out of this movie, I think this is the perfect election year movie. I think we need to take Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, strap them to chairs, and make them watch The Wild Robot. We might have world peace. But either way, there's a lot of things I really love about this movie. Is this the best animated movie of the year? I think maybe. Is it the best of all time? I think people are blowing it up a little bit over, you know, a little bit out of proportions. This is an extremely well-made movie, a fantastic animated film that families are going to love and regular audiences are going to find something emotionally gripping to really hold on to here. It's got themes that are extremely powerful that pretty much anybody can relate to because you have the motherhood themes, you have friendship themes, and you have the theme of being a child and not really feeling like you belong and feeling this kind of detachment from your parents sometimes. First things first, the animation in this movie is absolutely stunning. It's the main thing that people have been really, really kind of calling on with this film. From the first trailer that came out it is amazing the animation work that they have done here and dreamworks is usually pretty good with their animation but they're no studio ghibli and they're no like you know spider-verse studio you know you know what you're usually going to get from dreamworks but the animation here is stunning you definitely tell there was more money and more effort put into this one it was not just kind of a throwaway animated film it is beautiful the characters here and the voice acting are all amazing the characters are hilarious they're fun and they're exactly what you expect usually from an animated movie like this of course lupita as the main character here her name is rob Lupita does a really good job at being kind of two different characters here, being sort of the robotic, helpful robot, but also leaving in those kind of spurts of emotion and empathy and these feelings that maybe a robot shouldn't be having. And she's so good. Lupita and everything she does, every time I see a movie with her, I always talk about how amazing she is. And this is just another one of her roles that she's incredible in. Pedro Pascal plays this character called Fink. He's a red fox who is also just so much fun. I love this character. Probably my favorite character in the movie. So heartwarming. This fox just wants to have a friend. And to give credit to Pedro Pascal when I saw him in the cast, I thought it was just going to sound like the Mandalorian, but a fox. I didn't realize he was voicing the fox for like a good 20 minutes into the movie. So good on him. Pedro Pascal, great job. There's a bunch of other people here that do a really good job, like Mark Hamill and Stephanie Sue and a bunch of other people. It, it, the whole cast here does a great job, and the characters are all kind of fleshed out and done extremely well and serve their purpose to the story. The story that never moves its focus away from Roz and this bird that is her child. And this quest to try to help the bird mature and fly away and migrate and survive the winter. But the story becomes more than that. The story becomes about society and kind of society looking away from our differences and coming together for the greater good of survival. This movie is about an alien invasion, except there is no alien invasion. That's not a spoiler. I'm just saying it's kind of about what would happen to all of us if aliens invaded. That's that's what I took away from this movie. It also might have been about Jesus in a weird way. I don't know. I think I'm digging too deep into the wild robot, but it was just such a beautiful movie about culture and society, and it had so much more to say than movies like this usually have to say, and there was something so beautiful about it that ended up touching me. The score here, by the way, as well, Wow, what a terrific score. There's parts of this movie that reminded me of Avatar The Last Airbender because the score alone and just still shots of these characters doing nothing were making me want to want to well up and shed a Joe Marchione tear. Did not get a certified Joe Marchione tear. It almost did. But the score here is absolutely stunning and the whole movie, it's paced extremely well. It really does fly by. I do think the start of the movie, it takes a little bit of time to really get into what this movie's all going to be about. But once you're really hooked into it, it takes you for its ride. It is so much fun, so emotional, so beautiful to view and I do think the ending it kind of has another story thread twist right in like the beginning of the third act that makes the movie into something else the themes still work once you get to that point the overall messaging of what they're trying to say is still beautiful but it just got like a little more chaotic in the third act than I was expecting and I'm not sure it completely worked for me but the ending 110% did work for me those last 10 seconds of this movie my god yet again almost earned that certified Joe Marchion tier almost almost DreamWorks work harder. But I absolutely love this movie. This is a stunning film, and it will be if I make a list on the best animated movies of the year, which I don't know if I will, because I haven't seen that many this year, but it would rank near the top. This is a terrific film, one of the best from DreamWorks, and I, I hope we get a sequel. 
That's a lie. Don't make a sequel to this. Stop making sequels to everything. I'm wrong, you're wrong. We don't need more sequels. Except for Joker Filet and Dew. What a sequel, baby. We need that. So as you can see, I really love The Wild Robot. I will give it a 4.5 out of 5. This is a terrific movie if you're a family, if you're a parent, if you're just a normal 20-year-old dude like me who's bored and has nothing to do on a Friday. Go watch The Wild Robot. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more. Turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.